In one of our last videos, we talked about how to create a React Native Expo notification inbox. A notification inbox is sort of like an email inbox, but it collects all the notifications that have been sent to your users in the past. So your users, if they missed a push notification, they can just open up their app, go to the notification inbox and see a collection of all their past uh, notifications. And this is very useful if you have an education app, if you send out homework assignments, uh, if you have an e-commerce app and you're sending out discount codes on a regular basis, users can just go to the, the inbox, uh, the notification inbox to see all the notifications that have been sent in the past. Now that works for uh, notifications sent to everybody, to, to mass push notifications. It'll collect all the mass push notifications in a notification inbox. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is an indie notification inbox. So these will be notification inboxes for individuals. An indie push notification is a push notification for individuals. So instead of sending push notifications to everybody, uh, these notifications go to each individual. Well, an indie notification inbox is, an, is a notification inbox that collects all the push notifications sent to each individual. So uh, if one of your users has a, an indie notification inbox set up, uh, if they go to it, they'll be able to see all the notifications that have been sent specifically to them. Also with a no, uh, an indie notification inbox, uh, the users will have the ability to delete those notifications. So with a normal notification inbox, uh, users can't delete notifications. Uh, it's just a collection of all the notifications sent to everybody. With indie push notifications though, with an indie push notification inbox, the user will have the ability to swipe away uh, notifications they don't want, or they can just click a button to delete a notification that they don't want in their inbox anymore. And so they can just have the uh, the notifications they want. They have greater control over their uh, notification inbox. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into this, show you how uh, to build an indie notification inbox. Before we get started though, if you like React Native, Expo, Flutter, things like that, uh, we make videos about that all the time. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We'll go ahead and get started. First step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com. Click this sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. That should take you to a page like this. If you haven't created an app already, you'll want to click this create an app button. Uh, and we're going to be talking about React Native Expo today. So you'll want to click this React Native Expo button. That should take you to a page like this. Today, we're going to be talking about this indie notification inbox setup guide. Uh, but before you do that, if you haven't done this already, you'll want to follow these start here instructions. Uh, this will get you set up for push notifications. It literally takes less than a minute. Uh, this video up here should show you how to do that. Very simple, doesn't take a long time at all. Um, the next thing you'll need to do before we set up a not an indie notification inbox is you'll want to come to this indie push setup guide. Uh, this will get indie push notifications set up. So this will allow you to send notifications to individual users, not just to everybody. Uh, if you follow this start here guide, this will allow you to send notifications to everybody. Uh, and you could go ahead and set up your notification inbox at that point. Uh, this video here shows you how to do that. But before we can uh, set up the indie notification inbox, you have to set up indie push notification. So you'll want to just make sure to go to this, this indie push setup guide. It's very quick. It does not take a long time at all. Um, and this video will walk you through it. You can watch that. Then once you've done that, once you have indie push notifications set up, you officially are ready to set up an indie notification inbox. Um, just to give you a general idea of what it'll look like, um, again, in the past notification inbox video, I showed you how we added a notification inbox to this app called Startup Notes. Um, this app, Startup Notes, is another app I created um, in, in another tutorial. If you'd like to see how I created this Startup Notes app, you can see this video should pop up on the screen. It's a React Native tutorial for beginners to learn how to uh, be a React Native developer. But if you go in here, this is 
the notification inbox. Now this is just for um, this here. This is for everyone. Uh, this collects all the notifications I've sent in my notification inbox. Um, and you'll notice right here, uh, there's a mail button here. This shows all the notifications that show up in the notification inbox. And you'll notice you're able to delete those notifications if you want. Um, so I'll go ahead and delete one to show you. And then if I leave this page and come back, now it just has the one. Okay, so that's uh, the notification inbox. Now though, what we wanna do is set up the indie notification inbox. So this is a notification for individuals and we'll just follow these steps together. So your step, first step is to copy this into your terminal. So I'll go ahead and do that here. Just make sure that you have the most up-to-date version of Native Notify, the Native Notify package, uh, just to make sure you have the right up-to-date functions. All right, and it says step two, make sure you have these things imported. Uh, I already have React, Use State, Use Effect imported. I do not have these uh, indie notification inbox functions imported yet. So I'm going to come up here. Um, I already have Git notification inbox imported, um, which uh, that's what you're seeing on the screen. But this is these are the functions for the indie notification inbox. All right, and then it says make sure you're using a hook function in uh, as your indie notification inbox uh, function. Um, mine just says notification inbox. It can be called whatever you want, but um, I'm already using a hook function. If you're not sure what a hook function is, uh, I made a video about it. You can watch that video right here. You can also click this link right here and it explains what a hook function is. Super simple, not complicated. Uh, your next step is you'll wanna make sure you have a place to house your data. Uh, once you trigger the uh, get indie notification inbox function, it's going to return an array full of objects. Um, and so you'll wanna make sure you have somewhere to house that state. Um, you can call this whatever you want, but uh, I just have it set as data. And uh, I put that right up there. And you'll notice down here, the way I have this set up is uh, I'm using a flat list to uh, return all of these, these notifications to make it uh, all up here, here. Um, and so you could use a map function if you want, um, whatever you wanna use. Uh, I'm using a flat list. This is how I'm using it. Uh, you'll notice uh, the key extractor, each item within the uh, uh, objects within the data array has a notification ID. Um, and so I use that as the key extractor item. So I would just say item dot notification ID. Uh, and then there's also a title, a message and a date. You'll notice title, message, date. And I already styled everything. Um, so that's how this is working currently. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next step. It says copy and paste this use effect function into uh, your your function. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that, paste that here. Uh, you'll notice it's exactly the same as the notification inbox one with some, uh, so, some little differences. So I'm going to go ahead and comment this one out because uh, we're not using it anymore. Um, but uh, here you'll notice some things to point out. This is an async function. It needs to be an async function so that you can use this await uh, term right here. We want to await for this uh, get indie notification inbox to return a value before moving on to set the data equal to that, uh, that value. So you'll want to make sure in your use effect you're using an async function. Um, the only other difference too here is uh, you'll notice your app ID and your app token are already put in there for you. But right here is where you would need to put your indie push sub ID. Um, again, you learn about what that is in this indie push setup guide. Uh, basically, all it is is it's whatever unique ID you register with us. 
um, you need to use that same exact ID for the indie uh, notification inbox. So just a super brief overview of indie push notifications, the way it works is you register a unique ID with us, and then you use that unique ID from then on uh, in your post requests um, to send notifications to that individual. So usually what an indie sub ID is, is it's like the user ID that you have on your end for uh, your users your users might have a number, whatever you use on your end for a user ID um, can be used as the indie push notification ID that you can then use from then on to send indie push notifications. Well, that's what you use here. Um, you would put here uh, your indie push sub ID as a user string. Um, I in a uh, a, uh, another video, I went ahead and registered some users. One of the users I registered was called user uh, two. So that's the one I'll use here. And you'll notice here, it has that mass push notification that was sent out, the another test one, but it also has an indie push notification that I've sent to it. I believe I have something called user one. Let's see if, okay, yeah, so user one, has uh, another notification that was sent to it. Let's see if user three has one. Okay, so user three just has two. I have five users that I've registered already. So, all right, so those are the different ones. I'll use uh, user one or maybe user two. Okay, I'll go with uh, user one just because there's three different ones here. So yeah, that's it for uh, getting indie, your indie notification inbox uh, set up. Um, for you, again, on your end, uh, you'll probably, once your user logs in, something like that, you'll probably in your global state, save the user ID that you use as the, the uh, indie push notification sub ID. Um, so you could just, however you, um, save their user ID, you could just, you could do that dynamically here. Like uh, the way I do it, I use something called app state that I made up. So uh, I might would do something like this where it says user ID equals app state. Um, and so dynamically to do this, um, I would do something like this. Just do it like that. Um, and that would put in the user ID for me. Um, so however you do it, you can just go ahead and import your user ID, put it right there, and then it'll work. But I'm just manually putting it in for this video. All right, so that gets the uh, notifications showing up. Now, what if you wanna give the user the ability to delete their uh, notifications in their notification inbox? Well, you have the ability to do that with uh, this function here called delete indie notification inbox. So again, if you go back to your code, you'll just wanna make sure you imported this delete indie notification inbox. Um, and then it says, this is the function that you use to delete a notification. So you can just copy this, come over here uh, you can put it anywhere. I'm just going to put it under this use effect. Um, basically, the way it works is you want to trigger this handle delete notifications. Uh, and the, the parameter you pass in needs to be uh, the notification ID. So let me just show you something. So you'll notice when you uh, first trigger this get indie notification ID, you'll notice each of the objects, these here in, in the terminal, these are the objects that uh, show up in the notification array. Each one of these objects has a notification ID. So that's what you need to pass in as a parameter whenever you're triggering this handle delete notification. Um, so I've already created a, a button that I'm gonna uncomment out to show you what I mean. So uh, notice it says delete notification. So the user can delete a notification. 
Uh, for this touchable opacity in my on precedent, I uh, put in handle delete notification, that, which is the name of this up here, this function, we just paste it in. And then for the, uh, the parameter, I say item dot notification ID, which should get the notification ID within the object that's being uh, returned in this flat list. So uh, we'll go ahead and just test it out. That's, that's all you have to do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Okay, and you'll notice uh, it, this returned an empty array. That's because I forgot to uh, put the uh, indie push notification ID back in this delete function as well. So you'll need to make sure in your delete indie notification inbox that you also put your indie push notification ID in there too, or it won't work properly. Um, so yeah, that's how this delete indie notification inbox works. You put the indie push ID here first, then this notification ID that you passed in goes there, then your app ID, then your app token. Um, and so let's go ahead and send ourselves a couple more push notifications. Uh, test, test. To show this working. Test. Okay. So let's leave and come back. So notice those were mass push notifications sent to everybody, um, but they still showed up in the notification inbox. Uh, and now, now that I put the correct user uh, indie push notification ID here, it should work. So let's test it out. All right, there we go. And it, it deleted. Um, and just to show that this is working. Um, so let me go ahead and comment out the delete button again. Um, and I will uh, uncomment out the notification inbox. So you'll notice, so the, the mass notification inbox still has all four messages in it. And that those four messages should be here. Yep, so they're all there. Um, but if I go back to the Indie notification inbox, the ones that I deleted, they're, they're gone. So even if they're in the mass notification inbox, they won't be in the Indie notification inbox anymore uh, if they delete it. Um, so yeah, yeah. So that's uh, Indie push notification inbox. Uh, that's how that works. That's how you can create a notification inbox for your individual users and give them the ability to uh, delete the notifications as well. Thanks for watching this video. There is a transcript of this video in uh, the description below if you'd like to read the uh, an article I wrote on how to get this all set up uh, in text form. It's in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, like the video. Uh, we come out with videos all the time. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.